in this video we are taking apart some interesting lenses strangely enough i found these parts on my favorite shopping website aliexpress and strangely enough osram makes them they should be quite good quality and i always wanted to take these lenses apart to see exactly what we have inside from a packing point of view they are very well packed let's see if the camera is able to focus they have a very subtle osram logo on the sides and we are going to take them apart to see exactly what we can find inside what can we see we can see some spacers the lens that has very subtle subtle writing on the sides here osram the branding what can we remove next let's remove the ticket all of them are the same the reflector still made out of plastic and here we have our chip very precise actuator But by the looks of it, we can see a six chip uh, LED with that heat sink or on the big metal heat sink. We have some thermal conducting paste. Overall, the fit and finish is very, very good. So it seems to be a high quality lens. Let's see what we can mm -hmm. Let's place one of the screws back in so that we can remove the other bits. Overall, the design is very simple. Okay, this will be six cell. LED the body of the lens acts like a heat sink we're not removing this little chip because it has thermal conducting paste and I don't want to reapply it overall nice solid design this is the LED driver or the electronics of the system No branding on it, no Osram, no other name, our shutter, smooth operation, 
here is the bit that they are adapting so left hand drive right hand drive I can notice a little bit of filing here a nice little fan no branding on the fan what I've noticed when I'm using it it is very noisy metal frame with the running voltage the power for low beam the power for high beam the reflector still made out of plastic front lens seems quality we also have the Osram branding on the sides of the lens and of course the screws and some washers now this is our lens the strange bit for me is that when I was testing the lens on the high beam something is happening and an additional LED or something is getting powered up so I'm gonna test it a little bit um, before reassembling everything I want to understand the difference in power between low power between low beam and high beam and also I want to understand how I'm able to to see the high beam more concentrated because looking at it and comparing it with the other lenses I would expect them to use all six cells for for the light output but yeah overall a nice little product Let's finish the assembly, the reassembly. But before doing that, I would like to power that one up to see what the LEDs are doing. Let's see what happens if we power it up. Negative to negative, positive to positive. So by the looks of it, all six cells are lighting up and whenever we are using the high beam, the shutter is opening up a little bit more light. One more time. It's painful. So looking straight at it, it is painful. From a construction point of view, this lens has a very simple construction and I'm quite amazed how, um, how efficient the guys from Osram managed to make this lens. Other lenses that I've took apart are more complex they they're harder to assemble this one is very well designed I would say
And all of that is done from the optics, so we don't have an additional LED. Everything is from the shapes of the reflectors. In the beginning I was thinking that we have a second LED that is powering up. But after taking it apart, that is not the case. This was the Ostrom 3-inch lens projector. <laughs> 